We start this evening with a live look at the Justice for Jamar rally that's getting underway in North Minneapolis. Supporters started gathering here after the Hennepin County attorney announced the officers who shot and killed Jamar Clark would not be charged. It was a decision Mike Freeman said he made after combing through evidence and dozens of interviews. Accordingly, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office has concluded that criminal charges are not warranted against either Officer Mark Ringenberg or Officer Dustin Schwartz. More than four months ago, police shot 24-year-old Jamar Clark after responding to an assault call. Almost immediately, there were conflicting stories about what happened that night. Police say that Clark was reaching for Officer Mark Riggenberger's gun. Some witnesses say Clark was handcuffed when Officer Dustin Schwarzy fired his weapon. This morning, Mike Freeman detailed the evidence that he used in his decision to not charge the officers. WCCO's Liz Collin was there. And there were some tense moments today, Liz. Yeah, Frank, for more than 45 minutes, Mike Freeman spoke in great detail about what happened the night of November 15th on Plymouth Avenue North. We learned Jamar Clark first wouldn't show his hands to police, was never handcuffed, and wouldn't let go of one officer's gun when a second officer shot Clark in the head. Freeman said if Clark would have acted differently that night, he'd be alive today. This level of transparency is unprecedented. In front of dozens of cameras from across the country, Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman attempted to end four and a half months of rumors and speculation. Freeman said Jamar Clark was attending a birthday party inside an apartment here that November night. He and his girlfriend got in a fight when 911 was called. They both had bloody faces. Paramedics pushed Hayes into the ambulance on a stretcher. As they walked past Clark, Hayes said, quote, that's the guy who did this to me. Paramedics locked themselves inside their rig and requested police respond to the scene. Video rolls as white police officers Mark Riggenberg and Dustin Schwarzy arrive on scene. Police say Clark wouldn't show his hands, so Riggenberg grabbed Clark's wrist to handcuff him. When those cuffs fell to the ground, Riggenberg tried to force Clark to the ground. Riggenberg felt his gun go from his right hip to the small of his back and told Schwarzy, he's got my gun. Both officers said they told Clark to drop it. Ringenberg heard Clark say, quote, I'm ready to die, end quote. Schwarzy shoots Clark in the head, he says, fearing for their lives. Clark's DNA was found on Ringenberg's holster, mace holder, and the grip of Ringenberg's gun. He was shot 61 seconds after police first arrived on scene. The evidence detailed above does not support the filing of criminal charges against Officer Dustin Schwarzy. Mark Ringenberg for the fatal shooting of Jamar Clark. Not the decision some community members came to hear. And you have not held one singer officer accountable who has killed someone since you have been the county attorney. Freeman said this was an extensive investigation that included 1,300 pages alone. He put in 30 hours just reading all of the reports, Frank. And, and while it might be the end on Freeman's end, this is certainly far from over, right, Liz? That's right, Frank. The Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division, U.S. Attorney's Office, and the FBI are conducting an investigation of their own to see if Clark's death violated any civil rights laws. There is no word, though, on when that investigation will be finished, Frank. All right, Liz, thank you.